Hello students, this video is the second part of your question answer video shared earlier today. You have already got the idea about writing the answer of the first question. Let us discuss the second question. The second question is, in the fair he wants many things, what are they? Why does he move on without waiting for an answer? For this answer, you can refer to page number 3 of your book. This page describes what happens when the child reaches the fair. As he reaches the fair, he gets fascinated by the atmosphere there. He witnesses a big crowd pushing and jostling each other. Then he finds a good number of shops there. Here you will get facts about the things the boy sees there and the things he demands. Students, you note down all those things and write them in your answer. Now we move to the second part of the question. It, it asks, why does he move on without waiting for an answer? The boy moves on without waiting for an answer because he is well aware of this fact that his request will be denied. He could easily see it in the cold staring eyes of his father. As such, whenever he asked his parents to buy something, his father gave him his self-made excuses and denies. And the boy keeps on moving from one shop to another shop, making demands and demands. And he doesn't stop till he reaches the roundabout. Okay, students. Now, take the third question. The third question is, when does he realize that he has got lost his way? How have his anxiety and insecurity been described? This answer you will get here, page number 3, the last paragraph. Here you will find the description, what happens when the child reaches the roundabout, what he witnesses there, and he gets fascinated and then he makes a demand to go on the roundabout. He makes a bold demand to his parents and then he doesn't get any reply. There was no reply. And then he turns to look at his parents. They were not there ahead of him. And this is the time when he realizes that he had got lost in the fair. So this is the answer of the first part of your question. And the second part of this question is, how have his anxiety and insecurity been described? Okay. Now this you will find here, page number four. In this paragraph, a full deep cry rose within the, his dry throat. Now just go through this paragraph and here you will find that the author has given a very nice description. It deals with the agony, frustration and fear the boy experiences after getting separated from his parents. Go through this paragraph and I'm sure you will definitely write a good answer. Next. Next comes the fourth question. Why does the lost child lose interest in the things that he had wanted earlier? It is quite obvious that the child loses interest in the things that he had wanted earlier because he was panic stricken on being separated from his parents. All that he wanted was to be united with them again. In absence of his parents, all the things that he desired for himself turn inattractive and worthless to him. The boy lost completely the charm in the things around him. So this is the this could be the answer of question number four. Fifth question. Now the fifth question. What do you think happens in the end? Does the child find his parents. Dear students, this question, it is an open-end question. 
the author has left the story incomplete as far as the end is concerned he has not mentioned anything about it what happened to the child was he able to meet his parents again or not remains a mystery for the reader so students here you are free to imagine the possible end of the story you can write both ways the first it could be the first choice you have that you can uh, can imagine a happy end and write that the child got back his parents with the help of the stranger you imagine and put your views that way the other choice is a tragic end a negative response you can write that the child failed to meet his parents again give a fact based description according to your imagination so this question will have individual answers i hope you all have enjoyed this session of the question answer discussion so my dear students take out your pen and write down the answers have a nice day thank you